Is now a good time to ask what a bear jockey is? Oh my god. I can understand carrying a weapon when you're riding a horse, but why when you're on a bear? Like, the bear is the weapon. This is the equivalent of driving into battle on a tank and shooting people with your BB gun. What's up guys, welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And for today's episode, not only do we have a bunch more challenges to face off against, but also some really interesting new modded units to use in those challenges. Like some of you guys might remember last episode, I thought I had finally become a Tabs Master. You know, having beaten all of the campaigns and having unlocked all of the units, but apparently not. You guys were telling me in the comments that if a level appears as pulsing, it could mean that it was changed in an update and I haven't beaten the new version yet, or it was added between two levels that I have beaten and therefore it was just automatically unlocked. You know, point is you can beat a campaign without having beaten all of the levels in that campaign, which isn't good enough. So today we're gonna soothe these throbbing levels and if I wasn't a tabs master before, I will be soon. We'll start things off with a level called Star Formation, and I can definitely remember having beaten this level before. Like, it's not every day that you face off against an army who are wearing helmets with eye holes that are about as useful as screen doors on a submarine. That being said, something could be changed. I have no idea. It was pulsing, so we have to beat it. The only problem is they don't let me use every single unit. Like, no, that's a headbutter. I want to know what a rune mage is. You gotta be kidding me right now. Man. Okay, well then, this is what we're gonna have to do. I'm gonna beat a challenge, and then, as a reward, I'm gonna test out a new modded unit. We'll go back and forth. It's the only way I can do everything in one video. So for now, what are we going to use against a bunch of half-blind halberds? We could just try a couple of snuffies, right? Tried and true snuffleupagus. I can't imagine that they could just chop you down like an extra thick tree. Oh, yeah. You should be able to crush them like soda cans. Or not. Not a good start to becoming a Tabs Master. How about we try something a little bit more distracting? You know, something a little bit more devious. I want to line up a bunch of bards so that when one dies, another shows up. I, I want these guys constantly distracted by the beautiful music of my puffy pants martyrs. <laughs> and that's because we are going to have a couple of Zeus's raining down lightning on them. Hopefully they stay nice and focused on the bards. I, I can afford a ton more bards, actually. <laughs> Why don't we just line up an entire army? We can give them a concert. I just don't want them getting hit by lightning, but sometimes, like I said, sacrifices need to be made. <laughs> Go, my musical army. Distract, run away, but not too much. I don't think the lightning is gonna one-shot these guys, but no, no, you don't want to run behind the Zeus. That is the opposite of what I'm paying you guys to do. Oh my God. You gotta be kidding me right now. Oh, some of them are staying a little distracted. They're kind of following the birds a little bit. Zeus is getting worked, but... You stupid idiots, what are you doing? No, Zeus, come on, you got this. Oh, nice trick shot, round the back. Come on now, there's only a couple left. The birds are getting worked. Just let them get worked a little bit. You know, maybe take your time with these last few bolts. I, I I think they need to be taught a lesson. Where are you guys running to? You're supposed to run away in a distracting manner, not in a way that lures them to the allies. There we go. Thank you, Zeus. Now, as my reward for success, I gotta test out the Rune Mage, because we've never seen something like this before. It's a Viking unit, but it's not a barbarian like all of the others. You know, it doesn't have the pointy helmet and an axe and a bare chest. It's got white robes and a giant magic rune. I would assume that's what that is, which means these peasants are probably about to get ass blasted by some kind of Norwegian magic. I'm all for it. Also, I can't use our favorite crash test dummies, the hobbits, because the farming faction is gone. I don't know where it is, the mod just removed it entirely, but the peasants should be fine. I'm just gonna say, you guys might want to charge up that magic fast. Otherwise, you're gonna get some grubby little poor people hands on your nice white clothes. What the hell? Did they just transform some of them into werewolves? <laughs> where the hell did werewolves come from? <laughs> That's amazing! Are you 
kidding me right now? Oh, wait. That might actually be a problem. If we can only transform the enemy, it means the enemy can only kill the enemy. So, aren't we just going to be left with one unit who's constantly getting transformed into a werewolf over and over again? <laughs> it's the middle of the day. The werewolves are so well made. They seem a little bit confused, probably because of all the sunlight, but the model is really good. <laughs> I really like that they grab the peasants by the balls and just drag them around. <laughs> this werewolf mosh pit has me really confused because I think they might be multiplying. Like we started with nothing but blue peasants, now we've got blue peasants and red peasants. It would make sense that if we transform one of them and then they die, they transform back into a peasant, but they would still be on our team. Except we only had ten. I'm seeing like at least a couple of dozen living werewolves and then maybe a dozen dead, so... Where are all the extra bodies coming from? I gotta give credit to the werewolf model because it looks like an actual tabs unit. Like, it looks just as good as any of the horses or the mammoth or the minotaur, but after looking at this thing for a few minutes, it's dawned on me that it's the friggin' abominable snowman to a T. The likeness is uncanny. It's genuinely terrifying. Now I'm really curious. Do you think they can transform any unit into a werewolf? Like if we put down a bunch of giant units, would we get a giant werewolf or two? Also, I noticed that the ice giant has a tiny little helmet now and a band on his arm. Little changes like that I absolutely love. I've also included a whole lot more rune mages because they might be dose-dependent magic. Who knows? I'm just hoping that we can get four huge werewolves to eat the five dumb peasants behind them. That would be fantastic. Work your magic, guys. Come on. Oh. Oh, yes, it worked. Uh, they're not giant, but they're they're flying around. Oh, things are getting real messy. And they went for the peasants. Of course they would. <laughs> for some reason, the werewolves are turning on us, though. They've got a couple of rune mages by the balls this time. Fair enough. You know, I, I guess a werewolf is kind of chaotic. Speaking of chaotic, <laughs> I don't think Snuffy's thirsty. They transformed the boat? I don't think that's supposed to be red and black like that. Maybe I'm just being paranoid. <laughs> Super cool though, I really like this, but it is absolute chaos. It's hard to tell who's on what team. Oh, we win. Did we though? Here's a million dollar question for you. What happens if you transform a horse into a werewolf? Would it become a wobbly werewolf? Would it still be ridden by the poor guy on its back? <laughs> oh my god, there's so many possibilities for this to be completely ridiculous. Come on, transform. It transforms them both. I was really hoping that the poor guy would be stuck on the back of a werewolf. <laughs> it's just chaos. Like, there's so much transforming. I'm probably using too many rune mages, but can you have too much awesome? Really? We didn't get wobbly werewolves either. It seems to be a, a pretty standardized transformation, no matter how big or how broken you are. Oh, you sure you want to do that, bud? Not really think, oh. No, he actually did kill it. I kind of thought that the silver bullets would do the job, not a rope, but what do I know? <gasps> Apparently we lost. How do you tell? This is a really weird level. It's called Renaissance versus Farmer 2. And again, it seems super familiar, but I'm guessing most of the game seems familiar now because I've played it so many times. They've got a bunch of the T-posing bird bags in the back, which could end up being a problem. We get to start with a bunch of chieftains, but we have very little money and I can only use Renaissance units. It's just such a weird, garbled mess of a level. I don't understand. I guess I could set up some musketeers across the river? If we do something like this, then hopefully the chieftains will cross the bridge and hold them off for long enough. Musketeers might be able to shoot everything. I have no idea. <gasps> the very least, we can blow away all of those bowl cuts. Oh no, no. Why is it you guys do stuff now? 
There's so many times where you don't do stuff. You, you just sit on your birds. <laughs> Crap, this is not gonna go well. I can already tell. Once you're left with nothing but musketeers, it doesn't go well because the musketeers are absolute ball sack. No. Like, for some reason, sometimes the scarecrow just stands there and it lets out, like, a couple of birds every now and then, like a fart in the wind. But other times, it's just a crow machine gun and ruins me. Oh, we're gonna get a little desperate now. I'm thinking we lay down a whole bunch of painters to confuse the enemy. Why are they trying to make manor portraits of us right now, kind of thing? And then, when they least expect it, I'll ride in on the back of a horse and take out those stupid scarecrows, maybe, possibly. Uh, do I control the horse or the rider? I can't remember what's important here. Uh, I'm gonna control the horse because I want to actually steer. You do the attacking, I'll do the steering. Okay, I'm dead. That's not how that was supposed to go. Crap, there's most of my money pissed away. We charge through them though. Get in there. They're frozen. They're doing the thing. The, the fart in the wind crows. Just give them a poke. They're super weak. Thank you. Is now a good time to ask what a bear jockey is? Oh my god. I can understand carrying a weapon when you're riding a horse, but why when you're on a bear? Like the bear is the weapon. This is the equivalent of driving into battle on a tank and shooting people with your BB gun. On the one hand, the spiked bear armor makes me think that they're ready for battle, but on the other hand, the mallet makes me think they're ready for polo. It's just the weirdest combination. But you know we have to have a jousting match. It's the only way this could have started. I don't even know if you could joust with a hammer, or a bear for that matter, to be perfectly honest, but there's only one way of finding out. Come on, I believe in you. Bear, oh my god! <laughs> he absolutely broke that wobbly back! That hammer hit so freaking hard! I can guarantee Leonidas and his 300 did not expect bear cavalry. They do not have any experience fighting something like this, so I'm gonna give them the advantage. Not only are they gonna outnumber the bears, but they're also gonna outvalue them by quite a bit. Over a thousand, that should be fair. I don't think it's gonna be fair. I think these hammer blows are gonna land like meteor strikes. Or the bears are just gonna crowd surf. Jesus Christ. He, he walked over the crowd like he was swimming through them and then they were just all gone. All right, then what if we make this even less fair? Like, I, I don't think I can get to 300, but what if we go with 101? They'll be like Dalmatians. <laughs> Not that you wanna put down Dalmatians with a hammer. You, you get what I mean, okay? <laughs> I get the feeling they have absolutely no advantage. Once again, we're gonna see a crowd surf and, oh, oh, they actually managed to take out a couple of the bears. For a second there, I thought the only thing that was gonna die were the Spartans and my frame rate, but it, it still really doesn't matter. I'd be willing to bet these bears are probably used to being apex predators, you know, top of the food chain. So what would happen if we have them face off against Snuffy? They're even thicker, even crazier. I don't know if you can hammer something that's way bigger than you, okay. Well, they definitely met on the bridge. Snuffy's putting up a fight or was before their skulls became pudding. I wonder how ranged units would fare against the bear, because usually that's how you would fight something like this. If it's a very powerful melee unit, then you would try to shoot it before it gets to you, but like, they're armored and they're bears. I can't imagine a couple of arrows would really do a whole lot. Nope, they don't even seem to realize. I love their walking, it's so good. <laughs> no, we lost a couple. Oh, I feel bad. I really like Winnie. He's definitely one of my favorite units. It's hard to believe these aren't actually Tabs units. They feel like actual parts of the game and not just a, a random mod. You think a squire becomes a knight through training? Or like rampant steroid abuse? It, it doesn't make any sense. They're like four feet taller than everyone else. 
<laughs> but getting back to the campaign, we've got a level called Renaissance vs. Medieval 2. For some reason, these Renaissance vs. Something 2 levels are all something that I haven't completed, and they all have a lot in common. Like, this time around, rather than chieftains, we got a huddle of hay balers. Despite the fact that we can only use the Renaissance faction, and clearly, I'm gonna joust my way through these fools. <laughs> They're not going to stand a chance, right? As long as we don't run off the edge, we should be able to mow them all down. What are you guys going to do? Nothing. Oh, I really don't want to run off the edge, please. Okay, what, what did I just say, guys? No. The map was their advantage. You got to be kidding me. These hay balers are useless. They're used against ranged units. The enemy doesn't have a single ranged unit. I thought for sure that we were gonna absolutely crucify them there, but no, we got run over. We were supposed to be the ones doing the running over. Yeah, you better run for it. Go down to the door. Maybe, maybe we, oh, the door's guarded. Crap, I was gonna say, maybe we could find something in the door, a little last ditch effort help, but no. Like I said a couple of minutes ago, usually when you have a bunch of really strong melee units, you're supposed to tackle them with ranged. I just don't know if having a bunch of musketeers back here is really that good of an idea. I can afford a lot of them, though. I have a surprisingly high amount of money here. Yeah, that seems like it could work. Maybe I was wrong. <gasps> Oof. Did that entire volley only kill one knight? Please tell me you guys aimed for more than one night. This is why I hate the musketeers because they got mashed potato brains. You guys gotta spread out the fire. Just like that, exactly like that. That, that was much better. Just keep firing. You got a couple of kings to aim for. Royal assassins that you are, please take them out. <laughs> the bullets are going right through their puffy pantaloons. You guys gotta get the job done. Don't let them run you over. You stupid bowling pins, what are you doing? Don't shoot over each other's shoulders, you're gonna deafen one another. I don't even care, as long as we get the jump done. God, it's so nerve wracking. So our next modded unit is called the Reaver, and I'm wondering if this is actually gonna be the werewolf. Not quite. <laughs> You, you guys don't understand how much I appreciate how serious the rider is and how absolutely derpy his mount is. <laughs> this is such a beautiful unit. I mean, he's also hovering like a good foot off of the dog's back, which is great. But I mean, it's a tabs unit riding a giant dog. What more could you want? This is wicked. I'm telling you, these jousters are really earning their money today. Let's have them charge against a bunch of wolf cavalry. I'm not really sure how this is gonna end up. Again, you would think that they have the advantage because the wolves are weapons, and this time the wolf actually attacks. It, it really did look like it chomped down on the horses. It, he's got two weapons that seem a whole lot more useful than a hammer. What if I ramp up the difficulty a little bit? The jouster isn't technically cavalry. If we go with the stronger wobbly horse, then maybe they can redeem themselves. <laughs> I somehow doubt it. So what exactly? Oh, oh, we got absolutely run over. That is really cool in slow motion. <laughs> so the first one got stampeded, like hooves to the spine. The other two kind of bumped chest to chest and they seem to be at a bit of a standstill. This one's break dancing on his head, but he's back up and at him. <laughs> Did we, oh yeah, that's a broken wobbly horse. That one's down, okay, so one for one on the initial charge, not too bad. I've got high hopes for the wobbly horse here. It seems to be in the dominant position, but maybe not. Okay, I gotta let this play out. <laughs> There's such quick units that you really wanna see it in slow motion, but at the same time, it's coming right down to the wire. Rider versus rider, what a spin move. You ever been in that scenario when you get a crowd a little bit too close to family members for a photo and it feels really cramped? Well, that's what it's like when you try to use multiple Fenrirs. I don't know how this is gonna go. They might move like one giant dog mass, but I wanna see what happens when they actually outnumber their enemy. If I have them face off against a couple of giants, they're outvalued, but they've definitely got the numbers. I think we actually have a uh, Cyclops for some reason. <laughs>
<laughs> the, the, the helmet kills me. <laughs> so stupid. Okay, fine. Get in there. Oh, they actually move pretty well. Surprisingly. I also like the fact that they jump like the raptor. Oh, maybe they're based off the raptor rider. That would make more sense. Oh, they got absolutely worked, though. Yeah, they got crushed. That wasn't what I was hoping for. So the giants are still definitely king of the hill here. They're no pushovers, but I think Fenrir might be the kind to fight quantity rather than quality in some cases. <laughs> I will miss you, giant derpy cyclops. Oh, they're called Reavers, not Fenrirs. My bad. Uh, Norse mythology wolf, it's all the same thing. But now I am going to try quantity. I want to see what happens when three of them run through a field of peasants. I mean, technically, the wolves are outnumbered by quite a lot, but the peasants are outvalued, surprisingly, so this should be interesting. <laughs> Let's see what you guys got. I get the feeling that you're still going to absolutely demolish them? There's no way that they swung a weapon or bit down on every single one of those units individually. Right, so it must be that the charge itself actually does damage. Like, they actually ran through a field of peasants and just wiped them out. The last level that I have to beat, so that there's absolutely no doubt I've beaten every single thing in this game, is called Big Confusion, which is just incredibly fitting. I mean, they've only got a bunch of potion sellers. Like, they're not throwing all that much at me. And unfortunately for them, I can use any unit in the game, including the modded units, even the ones that I haven't tried yet. I could use a couple of warlords. We haven't seen yet, but I feel like we've seen a prototype of in a previous mod. The fact that I can get two perfectly means it's meant to be. It's hard to forget those whirling axes. Oh, so they can deflect projectiles with them and play drums on the shields. That's pretty sweet. I really just want to see you mow down a bunch of potion sellers. Come on, you guys are kind of lawn mowers. Oh yeah. You thought other units were hard to keep track of. These guys are like Beyblades on LSD. It's just a beautiful thing. You know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys. And that has to be it. All of the levels have been unlocked. All of the levels have been beaten. Nothing is pulsing. I've seen all of the units, but we haven't seen all of the modded units. So even though I am a tabs master, there's still a whole lot more crazy stuff with this latest update. Also, I completely forgot to mention, this is by someone called MD. This is called Stalingrad 5. I think it might be an earlier version of it. Maybe it's really hard to keep track of all the tabs mods and what people are making, but I really do want to try to make the efforts to credit the people who make this amazing stuff because I wouldn't be able to make videos like this if it wasn't for someone taking the time and making something this friggin' cool. So if you guys want to see more, as always, be sure to leave a like in this video, let me know, and I'll return to see what other modded units we might have in store. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.